Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I show you how I retouch my portrait. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Dramedy. I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. I want to wish you a great, happy New York 2018. 2017 was amazing for me. I hope it's going to be amazing for you next year. Uh, you know, I wish you every success possible. All right, so to kick off this new year, I want to show you how I edit my portraits in Lightroom, in Lightroom only. So here it is. All right, so how to edit portraits in Lightroom? Well, let me show you a different case study. Case study number one, uh, that's my good friend Duncan Dimanche. I love to take this, you know, environmental tall portrait where you see a landscape and, uh, you know, somebody. So you have two different things. If, if the body is uh, is completely in the frame and the, and the face is small is a bit different than if it's and I'll show you the different case study. So this is going to be really quick. So on this one, I usually whenever the human being, I don't do my usual flow, which is open the shadows and bring down the highlight. It just it's too rough for the skin. So I usually open up a little bit the shadows, bring down a little bit the highlights, and I'm going to do my black and I'm going to do my white and then I do my white balance. You know. Always the same thing, so shade maybe, shade or maybe, you see, I don't like the fact that the clouds is, everything is like kind of grayish. I like when there is color in the clouds. So let's see what daylight is gonna give me. Yeah, daylight might be more interesting. Uh, and the cool thing is I usually make a gradient and that, that used to be really a problem when I, um, you know, when I, I was doing portrait retouching back in the days because I always like to, you know, maybe like lower the exposure, you know, add some, some blue, which is way too much here. But you see how it messes up the face here of Duncan. Now we have this new option, which is amazing in the, the range mask off here. You see range mask off? If you go to luminance, Basically, what it's going to do is going to create a mask. So you can hold on the Option key and move this to the right. And the idea is, you know, a mask is white reveals, black conceals. So I want Duncan to be black. I don't want him to be influenced. And I want the sky to be white. So now if I let go, you see he's not being influenced. Let me show it to you live. So if I bring this back, he's totally being influenced by what I did. And when I do that... Uh, now it's kind of lighter on the sky and it's not on his face. That is such a cool option. This is something that changed my life in Lightroom. Okay, maybe add a bit of contrast. And I always do a little bit of a minus clarity, you know. And maybe, yeah, let's play one with some circles. I can, I want to make a circle uh, over the sky here maybe. So I'm going to invert, feather it, uh, and maybe add some yellow uh, and some magenta and some uh, minus clarity. So that's what I love about Lightroom is you can do, you know, you can do a whole bunch of things in one thing. So in that circle, I'm not doing, you know, adding some yellow, adding some magenta, minusing some clarity, maybe boosting some saturation. All of this is happening in the circle. So check it out. If you want to see, you know, what you did before and after just of that circle, check it out before, after. Uh, I'm not doing that much. I'm not doing that much. Maybe I'm going to add a bit more saturation. I just want to make the this this pop a little, a little bit more. And then I'm going to do maybe another one. I'm going to click and drag on his face. And um, and you see here, uh, maybe I'm going to do a little minus clarity and a little bit of exposure. Oh, I have to invert it. I have to invert it so it only affects his face. And, uh, you know... Maybe I like, or let's see, he's a man. On man, you can sometimes add clarity. No, it doesn't look good. So maybe minus clarity and just a little bit brighter. Don't overdo it. Like it's going to be so much visible. Like, oh, I did some light, you know, on his face. No, that's too much. That is too much. I would go much lighter. Okay. Basically, that's that. Maybe I would crop the image because I'm really bothered by that bench here. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. And, you know, good rule of third. You see how we have the rule of third, like golden triangle and boom. You know, that's a cool thing. Uh, backslash key, that's the before, that's the after, you know. Something like that. I would do something like that. Uh, now, when it comes to this, I shot this with an 85 1.4 uh, from Sony. So you got, you know, the bokeh and you're like in the face. Uh, you want to be more gentle. Same thing, I wouldn't do the shadows and bring on the highlights. It's just, it's just, you know, that's too much. 
So I go more gentle than this. You know, I open up a little bit of shadows, bring down a little bit of highlight. I'm going to do some blacks. I'm going to do some white. But the main thing I want to do is, is here on her face. Look at the face detection. I shot this, I think, at 1.4. Uh, oh, no. I shot this. Yeah, I shot this with the uh, Rokinon. Wow, I'm I, the Rokinon, which is a manual lens, and I still... So I was, you know, manual focusing and I still got it pretty much right. I mean, she's a bit blurry. 1.4 is too small, but I wanted to get that bokeh. But anyways, uh, it's my good friend Louise. Uh, so I'm going to make a circle here around her eyes, a big one, which I'm going to invert, feather. And then uh, I don't want clarity. I want minus clarity on this one, you know, to just make it more smooth. And I want to add a little bit of light, but very little, like, yeah, maybe... Yeah, like 0.22, just a little bit. And if you if you want to see if it's you press the space bar, it comes to an end, you click on it, and you just go back here, and then you can do the before, after. I just want to add a little bit of light on her eyes, which is cool. Okay, great. So let's move further. I'm going to right-click, duplicate, and just put the same circle on the other eye. But I want to go further on the eye. The eyes is, you know, the soul. So I'm going to, basically, I'm going to right-click, and I'm going to duplicate this one. And I'm going to make it much smaller, the duplicated one. And uh, I'm just going to get it really on the purple. And the pupil. And on this one, I'm going to make plus clarity and a bit of exposure. Uh, so don't overdo it. You don't want it, like to look like cat's eyes, you know. Try to not go, don't do it too much. Try to go over 0.60. Okay, uh, so, and again, it, you cannot tell. So you have to back out. Yeah, it's a little too much. So maybe 0.30. 28 just a little bit i'm just trying to make her eyes a little bit brighter okay yeah something like that okay cool and then i'm going to same thing i'm going to right click duplicate and put this one on the other eye here okay now that's good now here comes the brush so i'm going to try i'm going to go to uh 1.2 here so that we zoomed in but not too much I'm going to take a brush this time, and this the brush, I'm going to go to Clarity. Now, whenever you go to any of these settings here, Custom, and you click on it, the cool thing is that if I go to Clarity, it's just going to minus out everything but Clarity. And I want to do a little minus Clarity on the skin, and maybe just a little bit of desaturation, so to take out the red from her skin. So I can do that. So it doesn't think I'm doing anything, but you will see when it's done. Oh, make sure also that Feather and Flow is around 80. That's the power of your brush. You know, you don't want it too much. You don't want it too small. So as I'm painting, I'm adding a minus clarity. And I'm adding, you know, uh, a bit of of, uh, of white, of exposure. So let's see, before the brush, after. Okay, if it's too subtle, you can just increase the minus clarity. I want to increase maybe a little bit the exposure. Just make, uh, you know, and that's a good thing. It's complete and minus saturation. So now... Check it out. So you go very gentle before, after. It might be a little too much now, but I like how her skin, let's look at it from far. So let's see, before, after. Yeah, it's pretty good. I think I desaturated a little too much, maybe added a little too much exposure. I'm just gonna back it down. Okay, and usually then I, I'm done with the skin. Let me show you the before, uh, backslash key, after. Not a huge change, but still a change, you know? Uh, usually I go back to a circle and I'm going to make a big circle around her. And this time I'm going to go to exposure. I'm not going to click invert. So meaning if I lower the exposure, it's going to lower the exposure everywhere else. And usually I like to underexpose, you know, to focus the attention on the person and maybe add a little bit of blue. Uh, just to make like a little color cast that's kind of different, you know. gives a bit of, that, that really changes the look, you know. So again, before retouching, after retouching, very subtle things. So now let me show you just one more example. This is a fashion shoot. Let me reset this. I think, okay, it is reset. So that's a fashion shoot that I did in Milano. And, uh, you know, I did this for a fashion designer and she wanted a very light retouching. Usually what I do on this is I use my, um, uh, if you have my Lightroom presets, I'm going to actually give you my welcome kit. It's a free kit that's going to give you a whole bunch of uh, Lightroom presets. And it's going to show you how to install them. You know, it's going to show you how to install the presets and how to use them. It's all free. All you have to do is click on the video. And, uh, but in this case, I want to show you something which is a little more advanced. And that's my full presets. Uh, you know, but you don't have to buy this. this you know, try the free ones if you want to. 
uh, and if you go to Filmlook, okay, uh, I, I have this Filmlook preset. I love to use that. And you see, if you go over this, you can see here in small, uh, here in this uh, part, what it's going to look like. And, you know, I just love to try things. So I just put my mouse, and when I see something that's kind of cool, I, that's really, really what I did for that fashion shoot. So, you know, I thought, you know, I'll be honest and show you what I truly used. So, you know, I don't even care of the name of the film that's being used, but I'm just looking for a cool look, you know, something. Oh, maybe that's kind of cool. So you can click on it, and boom, you get the look. So you see, backslash sheet to see the before and the after. Uh, kind of a diffuse look. I kind of like that look. Let's see if we can get something different. Uh, oh, here is a little faded look. That's kind of complete opposite. It's got like a, you know, it's got of like this old looks from uh, from um, films. But you know, it's very popular. Uh, very popular on. Uh, oh, this one is kind of cool. It's very popular on Instagram. I see a lot of people doing this kind of like old film look on Instagram. You know, it's it's basically the first. But this is like uh, you know 120 different presets just in this package. So I just go through and and see what I like the most. You know. Ektar. Let's see what Ektar is going to give me. F Kodak Ektar. Uh, Kodak Ektar Gold. Kodak Ektar Warm. Uh, now this is too strong. And I'm just going through. You get the idea. Uh, oh, Insta is basically some of the famous Instagram looks that's out there. Uh, let's see here. This is that completely faded look. Yeah, I like that. You know, I like a little faded look. Uh, Insta Film Magenta. A Polaroid. You know, just different look. That's what I do. I mean, there's so many options, you know, when you have uh, this. But that's that's part of my whole package. But you get the idea. You don't have to do this. You can, you know, you can just uh, you can just open a bit the shadows, bring the highlights, do the blacks and the whites. Uh, and then you, you want to go on this type of fashion shoot, I would advise you to go to uh, split toning section. You know, just add a little bit of blue. So the way the split toning works is you can add a bit of blue in the shadows. For example, and a bit of uh, warm in the highlights, not too much. This is very uh, warm, and you go, can go down here, and and it just gives a special look, you know. So before, after, I love to do that with sort of fashion shoe. So that's how I did my portraits. All right, guys, please leave me a comment and tell me what you would like to learn in Lightroom, in Photoshop, in photography. I try to make more videos. It's all free. Just tell me what you want to learn. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you didn't subscribe yet. Thank you so much and I will see you in another video. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir and happy new year again. Thank you very much.